the current reality is that this is now a migrant worker program, which also represents a sort of contracting out of our immigration. Because I'm just going to backtrack a little bit to say that what happened is that, of course, we, none of these jobs are temporary. The whole thing is a fiction, right? To just bring in people without rights. These jobs in the meatpacking plant, in Tim Hortons, in the cor corporate offices or engineers in the field, those are all permanent jobs. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the first issue. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about temporary. It's only temporary in that any job in this country is susceptible to the economic downturn. So it doesn't matter how permanent your job is, you might get laid off at some point. That's the only temporary aspect. But it's completely false to call them temporary jobs. So we have this permanent need and of course, people were coming as temporary foreign workers. So, what the one of the good changes is that the and and this is something the Federation of Labor in Alberta lobbied for um, in two thousand and let me think now. It's all becoming a blur. Uh, I think it was about two thousand and eight. Um, the government said if you worked here for two years as a skilled worker, you could apply for permanent residency under what is now called the Canadian Experience Class. So what they did was create a new avenue for permanent residency for uh, skilled workers, not for the low-skilled workers, because hey, we don't want low-skilled scum in our country. I don't know what the problem is. Especially considering most of our ancestors came here as low-skilled workers, but hey, we've become very elitist in this country. So there is now an avenue for skilled workers to come as temporary foreign workers and become permanent residents. So if you look at it in that way, what we've done is contract, who gets to pick the temporary foreign workers who are coming here? It's not the government, it's the corporations in this country. So I really think that this program has become a form of contracting out our immigration system, you know. But it's not just contracting out our immigration system because there's, of course, even if you come as a skilled worker, you're, you're caught. You are totally vulnerable to that employer because if they lay you off a month before your two years is complete, you're hooped. You're completely hooped, aren't you? So, you know, you can, uh, it's just appalling. The, and, and there's no federal laws that protect that person. There's nothing that says if you as an employer, you know, have brought somebody here, then you're obligated to keep that person working for two years. What's the answer to all this? Oh, I think it's shut down the temporary foreign worker program. And do what else? And have a rational immigration system. An immigration system that is responsive to labor needs, that includes the right to immigrate into low-skilled jobs, and allows people to come here with rights as permanent residents. And you know what? There's a study in the States that says people who come with full rights will integrate better. Mm -hmm. So the people would win, foreign people coming here to work, and Canada will win. We wouldn't create a subclass of people. 
we wouldn't create this huge pool of undocumented workers. It's a very simple fix.